Hello there. Hey everyone, welcome back. First tutorial of 2022, and it's the Z95 Headhunter in one to one scale this time. We did the two to one previously, um, which was a nice build. This one is obviously very, very small, um, still about as long as an LAAT, so it's, uh, I guess, maybe me medium sized Starfighter. Um, this one was really tricky to pull off. The Z95 is really thin in pretty much every direction you know it's got a thin long body thin wings and the engines aren't that big either so there were some sacrifices um, when it came to the kind of the design of this um, so the back here at the uh, rear of the engine should be sort of open whereas you can see it just sort of rounds off here which isn't ideal um, but the the front looks all right and um, obviously still not as good as it would on the 2 to 1 or 5 to 1 model but um, it's still something I guess and yeah there's no cockpit sadly as well as i said it's a long thin ship um, i suppose if you wanted to you could replace that quartz block down there with the rail and a minecart but then you'd be sitting really low and you would also detract a little bit from the uh, outside view as well which i yeah i just wouldn't recommend doing it but if you want to if you insist on having a pilot seat then there you go that's your option but yeah let's crack on with the build um, we're just going to do it all in one i think um, unless I run into any problems, it'll just be a single take because it's not too difficult. Let's go. Okay, so to make the build, we're going to need quartz block. We're going to need uh, polished blackstone stairs, polished diorite slab, smooth quartz slab, iron trap door, and dark oak trap door, dark oak fence gate, birch fence gate, birch sign. We're going to start off with our quartz blocks here. Building towards the green line is the front, and the red is the back. Quartz block, polished diorite slab one and two. And then smooth quartz slabs, you want to do uh, one, two, and three. Iron trap door, one there, one there. And then this is one, two, and three here as well with the iron trap doors. All right. Taking the quartz again, that's one there. Dark oak trap door on either side. That's where your pilot seat would be if you wanted to have it. Um, so in that uh, block there. Do another one, another one, and just keep going backwards. So about here, just leave it there for now. And um, we're gonna take, let's see. Uh, we need black concrete, one second. I need to replace something. I'm gonna replace the block of quartz, because why not? One and two of those. Take the polished black stone stairs, that's one there. Taking uh, daylight detectors. This is gonna be one and two, and turn those on. Taking the crimson trap door now. That's one, two, and three. I'd recommend having it um, the lines facing towards the front, uh, just for it. Kind of makes it flow a little bit better, I suppose. Taking the red carpet, one on either side, and then two there. All right. Taking the birch signs. That's one and two. One, two, and then this is a dark oak fence gate. There, flip it there flip it and then taking our quartz block once more that's one two and three so we're going to do three there taking the polished black stone stairs that is just one here one there as well and then with the polished diorite slab we're going to do one two three uh, four and let's leave it at four for now so we've got the stair here, this is going to be a dark oak fence gate there, flip it, do the same on the other side, so dark oak fence gate flip. Right, so this bit is a grey banner, it's going to go there. So this is uh, two more quartz blocks here like that, and then we're going to take white banners this time. Now on my original model, I do have this as white banners with grey stripes, so I'm going to quickly do that. Um, Bear with me. So you need a loom. Where are we? There we go. Loom, and then we're going to take grey, uh, grey dye, and we just need to do a line down the middle, I think. Um, yeah, like that. And then there's two of those there and there. 
Same on this side. There we go. Can get rid of those now. Perfect. Uh, from there, taking one more quartz block, just goes there with a slab underneath, and then this is a uh, polished blackstone button, one and two. And then coming back to the top here, we're going to take our uh, quartz slab this time, or smooth quartz, whichever. One goes there, and now taking snow layers, that's going to be one, two, and three on this side, and then one and two on that side, one and then this is going to be a white carpet next to it. Um, oh, damn. There we go. <laughs> okay, so you got that lovely, lovely shaping going on there, and which is nice. Uh, just on the cockpit, taking two black carpets, you want to put two there like that. Very minimal difference, but it, it still helps, I guess. Um, okay, so from here, we've got one, two, three, four. We need uh, one more of these top half polished direct slabs. There we go. And then this part we need quartz stairs and also polished um, diorite stairs as well. So coming back to here and then this block next to uh, the dark oak fence gate, that's going to be one, two, three, and then this one's a polished diorite stair. You can also mix the quartz stairs and smooth quartz together if you want to uh, have a bit more variation with your colours. With this being a one to one, I'm not really that fussed, but um, of course you can always do that. So do two quartz stairs or whatever, quartz, smooth quartz. Two polished diorite stairs are going to go there. Uh, there's going to be one, two, three, four here like this. And then we want to curve this final one round like a corner stair like that, and then bring it back. And then this one is gonna be one and two, polished eye right, quartz stairs there. That's a corner one here as well. So that's the uh, engine um, back bit anyway. Polished black stain stairs are gonna go all the way around like that. And then finally, red nether brick stairs are gonna finish this bit off. One, two, three, four. Same again on this side. Um, so that goes there. One, two, that's one, two, three, um, and done that completely wrong. Three there, and then the black stone circle. Doing this in a really weird order, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. There we go. We'll throw that away now. We don't need this. Um, I think that was just quartz, wasn't it? Yeah, two, two polished diorite stairs. Corner one here, corner one there as well. And just bringing that to here, polished diorite stairs. So you should have this so far. Obviously, we're missing one major thing, which is the wings. So we're just going to throw away the, uh, the stairs for now. And taking quartz slab, we also need a polished diorite slab again. We also need white carpet and red carpet. And we'll stick with those ones for now. Taking the quartz slab, one and two. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do two polished diorite slabs there. One, two, one, two. Polished diorite slabs, one, two, and uh, three. Do another quartz slab here. And then this is gonna be two uh, red nether brick slabs now. We need those. Let's go one and two there. Red carpets on top. Taking the quartz slab. One. Oh god, that was voice crack. <laughs> one, two, and three. White carpet three. Um, and then one, two, three here. Two, two. So hopefully you uh, you got all that. And then at the end, we are going to take our red nether brick full block this time. One, two, one, two, and three. Uh, crimson trap doors. That's going to be three on top. I'm doing that way actually. And then this is a N rod. And remember, we've got to do this on the other side as well. N-Rod, um, Quartz Stair, have we used that? Yeah, we have. 
that's just one there like that. White carpet on top, another end rod. Okay, so then we copy this over to the other side, and one and two, one, two, three, like that. Three white carpets uh, go there. And two red carpets. And then we take the polished diorite slab. One, two, and three. There was two here. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Um, and four. And then two there, one there. And then we just do the carpets. Almost done with this, and then uh, we can move on to some bigger things next. Um, because this year I'm wanting to do a lot of the things I've sort of been putting off. So the uh, new 2 to 1 Slave 1, the uh, 1 to 10 ISD, uh, a lot of potential stuff coming up. And I feel like this is pretty much everything. The last thing I think I would just add is crimson signs on the outside here 1, 2, and 3, like that. One, two, and three. And one last thing, the uh, birch fence gate that I threw away, we actually do need. Oh, it's still there, that's good. That goes there on the back. Um, and that's, I think, everything. I'm gonna have just one quick look, but I think it is everything. Um, yeah, I can't see anything noticeable that's missing. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this build. Very small, very easy to do. Um, but a pretty yeah, fairly iconic Republic Starfighter. So we're going to put the uh, shaders on now, do a quick post-build showcase, and then uh, we will end the video. It's kind of bright, but yeah, you get the idea. It looks pretty nice. So yes, anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you had a good New Year and Christmas, if that's what you're into. Um, if not, I hope you just had a good festive season. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.